Getting out to walk or run this summer shouldn't be painful. No, really. When it comes to exercising, just choosing the right shoe can take the pains out of your gains. Probably the first common mistake is buying by color and, and being attracted to the style. The other thing is we find a lot of people sometimes buy shoes that are too short for them. Or if they're a wide foot, they're buying shoes that are too long for them. What they'll do is they'll buy a larger size in order to get the width that they need. It fits that wide part of their foot, but it's not fitting the rest of the foot very well. Another thing to consider is when a brand changes or updates the particular model you may be used to wearing. They were supposed to be a structure shoe, but after they switched to the new version, they took out a little bit of support, and I ended up getting a stress fracture in my shin. Stress fractures are small fractures to a bone caused by repeated mechanical stress. That's not the only threat posed by wearing the wrong shoe. Foot problems. Uh, the one we see most often is plantar fasciitis, or an inflammation of the plantar fascia tissue on the bottom of the foot. Usually that's caused by the fact that they don't have a shoe that's supportive enough. But when you hit the ground running, it's not just your feet that are affected by the impact. Depending on how your body stores that tension, it can run all the way up to your hips and your lower back. This also goes for those who may not be running or logging a lot of miles. I do a lot of walking. Uh, one of my favorite walking uh, areas is Green Lake State Park. Hey, what do you think? Whether it's marathon training or frequent strolls in the park, it's important to have the right equipment, the shoes. Gabriela Cruz, NCC News.